Hey everyone, it's Wolfram here and it's been a little while since I made a video, sorry about that. And today we've had the big update with the opportunity to respec. So I've had a quick look and I think it comes as a bit of a surprise to me and perhaps to everyone as to what we actually got. But I think I was certainly expecting, I think quite a lot of people were expecting, that you were going to be able to respec your skills. Yeah, you're going to have to pay plex for them. We knew it was going to be 5,000 plex. Uh, 5,000 skill points per plex, but it turns out that's not the only requirement. So let's have a quick go. I'm just going to show you what I think and what I'm thinking of doing uh, with my various alts. Um, I've got three different alts on the same account, um, and this one is um, dedicated here, as you can see. Yeah, scrap metal reprocessing is <laughs> going to take another however long 370 hours is, um, the two weeks to get to advanced scrap metal reprocessing. Um, this is what the alt does. And so what I really wanted to do was to get the skill points out of all of this stuff I don't need. Uh, and also so I can put it into what I will do want to do. And so um, that's what I wanted to do. And let's go have a look. And what I found out is this. You need 500,000 skill points as a minimum to be able to reset those skills. Now this alt is tech 6, um, you can see here tech 6, and um, it's dedicated a whole ton of skills into reprocessing, I don't want to lose it, I don't want any of this stuff, so I'm just going to take this stuff out, through the command, don't want it, destroy a command, don't want it, afterburner, don't want it, micro wall drive, don't want it, shield operation, armor operation, I've got various of these skills from um, uh, the free stuff you get as you go along. Frigate engineering, destroyer engineering, target management, don't need it. Don't need any of the weapon skills because he doesn't do any of that stuff. Doesn't do mining, doesn't do reprocessing on the ore. Yep, want to keep that. Need the trade skills and the accounting skills because they're basically only able to put more orders in the market and buy stuff and I also want to do it as cheap as possible so I've been working on that slowly and get rid of the freight I would have wanted to keep planetology but I can't and as you can see I'm only halfway to the skills and so I've got a choice I could take all those skills what I could do is um, take off the skills I've got here uh, like that, and then just pay. Let's see if I can do it a different way. Uh, put advanced accounting back to take advanced trade off, maybe. Nope. So it's going to have to be it's going to have to be accounting, and then basically put the skill points back into that, uh, as well as the extra skill points elsewhere. So it's sort of like a a double recovery. Um, I'm going to pay more than I want to. I've got the plex to do it, it's not a problem, but I, you know, it seems like a waste to spend plex on 200,000 200, odd skill points, which I'm going to put straight back into what I need to have them in, just so I can free up the skill points I want to. So I'm probably, I am realistically probably going to do that, because that's going to help this one. And I'm just going to show you uh, my other thoughts and my other alts, so I'm just going to have a look at those. So this is my main alt. Uh, this is the one I first started playing with Eve and uh, Eve Echoes. And I'm just going to show you. So, as you see, he's Tech Seven, uh, Tech Seven Alt, uh, and I have a mixture of skills. Now, I started off when I first, basically just picking bits and pieces and seeing what I liked, what I didn't like, and of course I ended up with a whole load of skills I don't really want. Um, and so. This one's got a lot more skills. This is primarily and was an industrial alt and will continue to be an industrial alt. So my plan here is to have this alt uh, to be an industrial alt, a shipbuilder, focusing in frigates and cruisers, and um, also is going to have battle cruiser skills so I can rat. Um, it's That's all he's going to do. He's not going to be anything else uh, in terms of anything fancy. Um, and I can get rid of a whole ton of skills so I'm going to show you on the refresh here he's got a lot more skills to deal with 
So um, the first things I can get rid of, don't need frigate command, don't want frigate cruiser command, don't want any of those. I do want battle cruiser command. I do still want industrial ship command. The reason that is, is as a manufacturer, I'm also going to be heading out on occasion to mine. I do like to mine when I'm not able to fully pay attention. And that's going to be contrary to my mining video. I think it, <laughs> I should give you a link anyway, um, where you really shouldn't be paying attention. Um, because that gives me an opportunity when I'm doing other things, I can have one eye on the on the, on the iPad and uh, mine away as I want to. So I'm not going to change that. But I don't need afterburn. Oh no, I do need afterburner. I'm not going to have micro warp drive operation. I might come back to it at some point. I do need afterburner because my battle cruiser is terribly slow. <laughs> I'll do a, uh, a ship fitting guide on the, what I'm using at the moment once I've sorted that out. I do want advanced shield operation. I don't know why I got three points in remote shield operation. I assume it's at some point I wasn't paying attention and clicked on those rather than shield. So those can go. Armor operation, I'm not running an armor tank. Frigate defense upgrade can go. Destroyer update can go. Cruiser can go. I do want battle cruiser and I do want industrial ship. In fact, I will have to increase that at some point. Frigate engineering can go. Destroyer engineering. See, I mean, this, I'm not even 200,000 yet. Uh, cruiser engineering can go. Battle cruiser I'll keep. Advanced target management. Hmm. I might go have a look at those skills to see if I can lose. See, let's see where I get to. I uh, don't need small lazy. See, I've got all these things which I don't need. Uh, don't need medium rail guns. Don't need small cannons. Advanced medium. Definitely want my medium cannons because that's what I'm running. On my battle cruiser, um, I can get rid of a small missile. Get rid of these. I don't need any of this stuff. Oh, we're almost there. <laughs> Still another 500,000. Um, I'd like to keep my manufacturing. Um, and I think I can get rid of scrap metal. Yeah, that can go. Freight, I don't need. I'd rather keep my those bits and pieces. They're helpful. Um, but what I'm thinking is, I'm currently just running a strip miner. I don't think I'm going to use my my, my Venture Three anymore. Because frankly, on the strip miner, although you get a bit of a hit and miss, I can just put in more more, more ore than the Venture Three ever can. Um, I don't know if that's going to have an impact on my mining generally, or if I just use the strip mining. Anyway, so there you go. I'm going to have a quick look at those skills uh, before I make a decision. But I've hit the 500,000, 112 plex. I've got plenty of flex to pay for that, so it's not a big deal for me. I could even respec after that if I didn't like it. But I'm just going to have a quick look. Firstly, mining skills. Um, it does give mine a yield. But I do want, it does say it only applies to these miners, which I'm not using. So I assume I don't need it for strip mining. Yep, so I'm probably going to get rid of that, uh, which is going to give me a ton more skills. And the other thing I just wanted to check was targeting. Because although I use the battle cruiser, I assume that gives me scan resolution improvements, but. There's not a ton of skill. It's not a ton of having barely any skill points. Really, level one, level two. Um, I might leave targeting intake. Oh, what I'm going to probably do is take the mining out. Yeah, of course it loses all that. <laughs> and you can just do select all. You can see I can redo my six million skill points for twelve hundred prex. But I'm not going to do it. But I, need, I know what ones I need. So I'm not going to reset everything. <coughs> oh, sorry about. That. Um, so. I'm just going to, um, what did I say, those ones, need to keep that, need to keep that, no, okay, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, uh, don't need frigate injury, don't need those, got to keep that, so I decided.
Yeah, almost lost, almost took away my advanced medium cannons. <laughs> uh, definitely need those. Um, right, and don't need the missiles, drones, or decomposers. I'm going to keep the manufacturing, and I'm going to get rid of advanced mining, which gives me a ton of skills. I'm going to keep reprocessing, get rid of the scrap metal, don't need it, don't need freight. Waste of time. Yeah, so I can get 1.5 million skill points for 300 plex. Uh, and that I'll just, on that note, we'll say the plex market today has been a bit nuts. It climbed quite quite quickly after there was an announcement uh, that we're definitely getting the skill respec, and it was in the patch notes. I think it went up to 440, 450,000. Isk perplex, uh, and then straight after the patch, it was back down to 340. I saw it out, it sort of jumped back up to 440. I think right now it's back down to 380. And I expect there to be some wild s swings effectively as people come on, realize what the respec is, dump extra plex or buy plex for what they want to do. So they didn't have enough or they want more. So I think, I think it is going to swing a fair bit. It will settle. I mean, my view still remains that plex will ultimately go up. And so on the broad, broadly, I'm just buying it as and when, uh, and, we'll, and we'll, we'll continue to do so. So, that's my reskill sorted, and I'm going to reset my skill points. Yep, confirm. Done. And I can now get my uh, medium cannon upgrade level for if I expedite it. I'm not going to do that yet, so I'm not going to waste time accruing the additional skill points. At some point, I'll come back and respect this one into what I want. Uh, and just to show you on my third alt, which is going to be now my PvP alt, who at the moment has been ratting with a Vex and Navy, which I, I really like as a ship. Um, I know everyone goes for the Caracal and everything, but the Vex and Navy has some huge advantages. Um, and I might, if you want, at some point go through the fittings for that. But in terms of what we're doing is that we're looking at skills. Um, I've actually already started. He's going to be um, frigate and cruiser and the reason is I want to have frigates for PvP I have pretty much settled on getting myself a Dramiel uh, which I'm going to go get at some point soon and um, I need cruisers in order uh, for the corp so for this I will get rid of destroyers I want to keep my cruisers uh, get my grim micro warp I've got nothing there anyway Keep the afterburner. Uh, I might need micro orb actually for the Dramiel. Um, shield operation. I'm probably going to get rid of armor. So I'm really looking at shield tanking. Uh, frigate. Yeah, I want to keep those. And uh, get rid of destroyer engineering. Mm, I want to keep the target. Small laser, small railgun. Medium railgun. Gonna need small cannons because that's what the drumming is gonna run. Get rid of the small missile stuff. Oh, it's a shame it was useful for the Vex and Navy, but I'm not gonna run that. Probably much more. Um, now I am yeah, massively skilled in drones. I've already hit five hundred thousand if I want to get those skills. Um, I don't need the manufacturer, he's not going to do any of that stuff. don't need accounting because I don't sell on the market. I do need trade for contracts because I really find it really frustrating only having two contracts at a time because of um, having to move stuff even if I'm just moving it between my alts. I do want planetology because that is a free way of getting money um, because planetary resources are in demand and they are going to go up in demand with this patch tacking the bots doing planetary resources, so I'll be keeping that. 885,000, the question is, do I get rid of my drone skills? Well, firstly, I get rid of small drones because I am not using those at all at the moment. I am using my medium drones. Hmm. A debate yet to be had. Right. Um, anyway, I'm not going to do that straight away, but I wanted to go through um, the skill reset and what everyone thinks on the respecking. let me know what your thoughts are because I was a bit disappointed I hoped you'd be able to do this and just go I do not need a strike command anymore and I can just hit reset skill points and pay whatever it is uh, 5,000 5, isn't it so 
I'd pay what six plex five or eight, seven plex if you're going to round it up um, to pay for that, and that's done. I had really hoped that was what it was going to be. Uh, I don't really see the disadvantage of that. Maybe I'm missing something by doing it this way. Sure, people are going to reset less often, but it would be nice, especially for example, if you skilled yourself into a particular ship. You know, I'm, I'm not this. I'll, I want to get a Dramiel. I'm going to get Dramiel, small cannons, all the things that go with it. And then I suddenly I go, well, I'm tired of the Dramiel. I want to try something else in the game. And so I want to do, let's say, a succubus. Now, if I do a succubus, I'm going to switch to lasers. So I'm going to dump all the skills. Do I have enough skill points to hit 500,000? I don't know. I might have, I might probably won't have. And that means I'm going to have to do the dump more overpay um, on the plex to, re to skill, to remove the skills I want to remove and then redo it all. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if I think this is a great idea or a bad idea. I'm really happy we can do this because I have wasted, as you saw, on one of them I had remote shield operation on my alt. I don't even do that at all with. So um, that's the thing. Let me know what you think. Thank you for staying through until the end of this video.